Happy Father's Day to all of the followers out there, man. Today is going to be a great day for all of us, man, to relax a little bit. But if you know, being a father doesn't mean anything about relaxing, all right? We still do everything we got to do. It is what it is. I said mommy was trying to keep you from doing things. Yeah, the queen is trying to get me to stop doing stuff, but that's just what I do. So she wakes up this morning and she's like, hey, you want some breakfast? I'm like, I was already up at six o'clock. I already ate breakfast. I had to get my breakfast in. I had to get my cardio in. We got to move still on schedule, baby. We already know he wakes up before everybody in the house. Absolutely. So he can wake up all of us. Yep. I wake up at six o'clock on Sundays. But he doesn't wake me up. You already up. Yes, I'm always up. You wake up early too. Yeah, I woke Christian up because he be asleep. He threw the pillow at my head. Because you ain't waking up. Oh, boy, I got some fresh glasses, boy. I'm looking clean, baby. Yes, sir. So right now he is currently making me some coffee. I need a cup that says father of the year or something like that. That's a hubby cup. That's for me being a husband. But it's all good. So, yeah, what he did first, guys, I'm not even going to lie to you. He made me some hot cocoa. Unfortunately, I don't drink hot cocoa unless it's Christmas. So I get it. Yeah, you go ahead and knock that hot cocoa out. A couple dance moves to his hot cocoa. <laughs> they got a queen coming around the corner. <laughs> I told him about the hot cocoa. I told him he was going to make hot cocoa. I knew exactly what he was going to do. That's my son. <laughs> like, you didn't Yeah, he did. He said he wanted to give me hot cocoa. Hey, it's Father's Day. This was a good week, guys. My birthday was Tuesday. I had a Tuesday birthday. I got a Sunday Father's Day. I had a cheat meal yesterday. I got my beautiful family. My ladies. My son, life is good. We are on our way to church. We are going to Thunder Mountain today. We are going to worship the Lord in Thunder Mountain today. Got me some water. Y'all, we good, we good. And we're going to hit the gym today. We're going to grocery shop today. Queen going to probably hook me up with some really good dinner today. So y'all stick around for that. It's going to be a fun day. Again, happy Father's Day to everybody. Like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'm going to catch y'all when we get back from church. All right, y'all, back home from church. Dad gang on the hat. It's official. If you know, you know. I say it's official. I've been a dad for 12 years. Queen hooked me up with my pre-workout meal. I got some, I got four ounces of chicken. I got one cup of rice. And I got some Oreo ghost protein right here. One scoop. Oh, you shake pretty good. Take it, take it, take it, take it. We got the Dolce right here. We got the Nike. Got the PSD. So now we about to eat, chill for a minute, and then we gotta go to the gym, y'all. We gotta train, we gotta go grocery shopping. Oh, it's so fun, today is so fun. Huh, yeah. What you think, today is so fun, huh? Happy Father's Day. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, y'all, we got the pre-workouts locked and loaded. Queen is hooking us up. We got a wonderful shoulder day. We've been slacking on shoulders, to be honest. Tell the truth. When the last time we hit shoulders for real? Uh, You remember we, when we first started? I don't even know what we did. When we first started, we was hitting shoulders all, all the time, remember? Remember, it was like, it's always a shoulder day. Yeah, but I don't ever know what we're doing, actually, to be honest. Yeah, we've been slacking, y'all. Like, last last workout was actually straight up chest. The workout before that was back. Um, we did some real delts, but it was back in a little bit of biceps. And then we also did leg days. Our leg days are the most impactful and powerful because we hurtful. do it all. Hurtful. Yeah, we do it all. Today, we need to train shoulders. We can get straight shoulder workout. All shoulders, all delts. You know, you got three heads on the delt toy, so we're gonna do a large like that. I'm getting the intro workout. I like to mix the intro workout before I go to the gym. Oh, you need a pre-workout. You tired? Yeah. I like to do the intro workout because I don't want to carry this big thing in the book bag. I knock that out first while I'm here at the house. I think Queen is actually gonna mix it up for me, uh, but we just need we need about 16 ounces of water. We're doing that. Then we got our pre-workout, creatine, and then we got our pump in here, which I'll mix up probably in the middle of the workout. I normally don't really need it when I use a certain pre-workout. I don't always need the pump because the Fabish pre-workout that I do have already has enough in it, uh, but I like to get a little more vascularity down again. So we're gonna have a good workout. Catch you guys at the gym. That's the problem with a lot of us men. We tend to let y'all lead and we actually need to lead ourselves. No, what's good? goody? Yo, what's good? Happy Father's Day. Well, thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. Hey, can you hold this for me? Yeah, they told me. After their mama told me, they cheated again. Uh -huh. Christian did. He waited for, she said, you said Happy Father's Day, and then Christian came in there and was like, oh yeah, Happy Father's Day. I woke him up, so I talked to him already. Oh, they need a calendar for me. I, I bought that boy a phone. Hey, he need to send his reminders. Hey, what Camille that? I tried to call him and send pick up. She been working. She been working what? The house chores. <laughs> Can she get bad times today? She gotta work. Yeah, the father, so. <laughs> she got bad times, but she ain't no father. Yeah, I'm just in here putting. I'm just in here putting in some father day work. Let's see my hat. Uh huh. Dad game, baby. Okay, you want to see that? 
This is the first place set. Oh yeah, right there, nice and smooth. Oh yeah, making love to the weights. Ah. Oh. She tells her that's how you put that weight. <laughs> <laughs> and she tells her that's how you put that weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, I'm trying to get you a break. Hey. Uh. Uh. You want a break? All right, y'all, I'm back in the passenger seat. Wife driving like Batman. Oh, oh my gosh. She's driving like Catwoman. My bad. That's what you want? <laughs> she in here whipping corners and all kinds. I can't wait to get back in that driver's seat. But it's all good. Just kill shoulders. We at Panda Express right now. Thanks, love. Got the goods right here. So the best way for me to order Panda Express is like this, right? So I get an order of rice and I get an order of grilled chicken. And so this way, even if I don't have a scale, I know I think this is about three ounces of rice. And then I can kind of measure this out pretty accurately based on it being a medium. But that's what we're doing right now, post-workout. Make sure you guys are feeding your bodies post-workout, man. You're gonna lose a lot of gains if you do not fill up your bodies after your workout. When we work out, we use all our energy. We use all of the water that's in us. All our electrolytes is gone. And make sure you get your adamant amount of protein after your workout so you can continue to build that muscle. All right, we're going to Chipotle. Queen don't eat panda no more. She's a love panda. So we're about to go up in here to Chipotle 
and grab her. I actually don't know. So we're gonna eat these meals and then we're gonna see what's next. We're moving today. We're getting it done. Yeah, how you feel? You got a good workout? She said she tired, y'all. from the grocery store. I'm not gonna do a grocery haul today because we actually didn't get much things differently. Look at this huge bag of rice. This right here I think is 25 pounds or maybe 20 pounds of rice. So I don't need rice. Got that from Costco. I did, oh, blue light, come on, cat. I did manage to find this again, so I got my liquid aminos. One of the main benefits from putting my aminos on there to give my food that flavor, and also it has apple cider vinegar in there, so you all know about apple cider vinegar. If you don't, look it up. Then I had to re-up on some pickles, so I got these right here. I had to re-up on some sugar-free jam, so I got that right there. I was looking for some Walden Farm syrup, because I actually want to start using some zero calorie syrup. Didn't find that, but I'll find that somewhere, I guess. I had to re-up on my Gum. I'm an extra guy, so I do a lot of gum. I got two of those. I can run through this in a week. That's terrible. Had to re-up on the eggs. Need some more eggs. I got some egg whites. Read up on the protein. We got beef. We got chicken. We got salmon. And then we also have shrimp. So I was loving the shrimp that the queen made last week. So she's actually gonna do that one more time for your boy. And yeah, read up on the root beers. Gotta have the root beers. I haven't had the root beers in a minute. I've been doing the Dr. Peppers, which I'm about to have on right now. And that right there is pretty much all of the different items that we picked up. Everything else is pretty standard, man. I don't really switch things up. And that's why I was like, I'm not really going to give you guys a full grocery haul video because it's becoming repetitive. And to be quite frank, I don't feel like recording it, okay? It's Father's Day. So next up on the agenda is going to be figuring out what the queen is making tonight for dessert. Got to track it. So y'all remember those muffins we made last time. We're going to switch some things up because the oatmeal didn't quite settle well in the stomach. So we're going to figure this out right now. I'm going to pull the calculator out and we're gonna see the ingredients and then she's also hooking up some salmon what salmon we got tonight lemon garlic and herbs lemon garlic and herbs all right y'all the shrimp is seasoned up what we got in there salt pepper onion powder garlic and herb some garlic paste and some italian seasoning let me stir it out Put the butter in there? What's the butter for? I didn't put no butter in there yet. You gonna spray it in there? I'm, no, I'm gonna spray it when it gets done cooking. Oh, so the butter is for after. The butter, the soy sauce, and the Italian herbs are for when it, while it's cooking. Mm -hmm. okay. And that's it. That's it. That's it, that's all. All right, y'all, y'all missed it. Sorry for that. I'm a little busy over here. This is the shrimp right here. She cooked it in the wok as normal. And look at it. Oh, man. Ready to go. I'm currently fixing up some plans right now for the client. All right, y'all, this is the hard part. The prep, cutting out some chicken. See me, I just use the scissors. You don't like the scissors, do you? Uh, no, I actually don't like scissors. So we got some chicken being prepped. Are you gonna uh, walk it? Uh, yeah, it's just so much easier. We use the walk again. Best thing known to man. Everybody go get y'all a walk. Queen hooking up that pizza. Yeah, y'all ain't, yeah, y'all for gay. It's Father's Day, baby. We're going in today. Okay, a lot. And she actually is not hooking it up. Nice. It's a, <laughs> a little red baron. But she already going to work on the chicken. Is that sweet chili? Yeah. We got some sweet chili right here. Yeah, yeah, hot. What else you got in there? Garlic, herbs, some regular stuff. Salt, pepper, garlic, herbs. Don't say regular stuff. What yeah. does that mean to a person who don't cook? Yeah. <laughs> regular stuff. Alright, y'all, let me show you real quick how the queen lays out the salmon. So just like that. We got some lemon and we got all the herbs on there. And this is just the air fryer, y'all. We're using a ninja. 
She just lays it out. She cuts up the salmon first. They actually peel the skin off at the market for us. But that's it like that. Just lay it in like that. And I'll put on the screen what she cooks it on because I actually don't know. All right, y'all, here is the chicken all prepped and ready for the week or at least maybe three days at least. We got the ground beef right here, 93 lean. I would like to say, wow, the queen is putting in some work right now. I'm locked in, I'm doing some client work, but she is over here cooking up at least two, or she get two pounds of ground beef, two pounds of salmon, two pounds of shrimp, got the pizza for the kids. She actually separated the pepperonis because Chloe extremely hates pepperonis for some reason. I don't know why. That's normally one of the best things on a pizza. She hates that. And what, what else you got? Oh, now, and she also gotta make dessert. But she doesn't have to, guys. She wants to. So we're gonna hook up with something real nice, man. So y'all make sure y'all stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna show you all that. But look at this. Muscle building food right here. This is muscle building food right here, all right? If you're not eating ground beef, you're probably not building no muscle. All right, y'all, here it is. We got coconut flour. We got stevia. We got some unsweet almond milk right here, just a little bit. We got some egg whites. We got that glazed donut whey protein gluten right here. Cold X Factor, raw. We got some chocolate chips in there. These ones right here. Got a ton of stevia. You going in on the stevia? I'm not. Oh, I'm right you at the five. Cut. Oh, you trying to do the measurement they take? And everything, yeah. Oh. I just don't want it to not be sweet. Yeah. And then we got cinnamon. We got some vanilla extract right here. I added that. Why you add that? Because you know you need it. Because I feel like vanilla extract makes everything better. She is the professional, y'all. So if she says we need vanilla extract, that's what we need. But yep, that's what you we got right now. Banana? I think I showed y'all the PB2. This is the organic Kroger brand. So. A little less in calories. And then we got a little bit of salt. So that's the mixture right there. I'm so happy. She stirred it up. And then she distributed it evenly in these lovely muffin cups. So you already got an idea. It's about to go down. All right, y'all, here is the Father's Day meal. Oh. No, the boy got, warm up. The boy got a whole plate full of food and I'm out here with no plate on Father's Day. <laughs> Hello. What well, I'm trying to tell you, trying to teach these kids something, man. I'm out here just, I, like, what am I gonna eat? Y'all, we working, all right? We working on them, okay? I wear this hat proud, I, hear, I wear this hat proud, okay? We got another one, another one just walking by. Oh, hey, thank you, son. Wow, you're amazing, thank you. Yes. There it is, guys. That is the Father's Day plate right here. We got some cucumbers, we got some rice. And we have some lovely salmon right here that the queen hooked up. Y'all know how she get down, man. If you know, you know. Look at that. I'm gonna enjoy this meal, man. I'm about to talk to y'all when the desserts get ready, okay? So, y'all stick around. Yeah, let me see yours. All right, y'all, so this is what we got right here. This is the desserts. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna show y'all queen's dessert. For some reason, she made hers extremely well. Well, look, presentation-wise. She made hers No, I added. Wise. And here's my presentation compared to hers. <laughs> The chocolate chips is all through here, but hers is like lovely placed on top. And I, but I didn't use any chocolate chips in mine because I wanted them all in yours. But they smell extremely good. Wow, these these are, smell way better than the last Wait, ones. Yeah. Well, let me smell. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test. We took out the banana. Queen said we probably needed banana, but we took it out. Here go all my chocolate chips, guys. Oh, that gives me. I good. took out banana because I didn't want that many carbs in it. So I'll put the macros on the screen for all of these minus the extra. Oh, we got some cinnamon all look at that cinnamon. You can actually see it on good cinnamon on top. All right, let's do it. Mm -hmm. That's good. Now, y'all know, I'm a Target muffin type guy. I go to Target, I get my muffins. These right here are pretty dry. Yeah. And they're dry because they're healthy, okay? And we didn't do, oh, we did, no we, we did protein, protein powder. She didn't do any oatmeal this time, but we do have coconut flour, which is different. We didn't use coconut flour last time. And 
How many eggs do you use? No. Uh, egg whites. Egg, 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 egg whites. I'm it's pretty dry, but it's still good. Let me see if I can get y'all one. I don't like these at all. Oh, damn. See, I don't like the little circles on the bottom. Gives me weird. Here it is. Cool. Weird vibes. Yeah. Right there, y'all. So, hey. Amazing Father's Day right here, guys. Oh, got lots of muffins. Look at that. Coach, if you're watching, look, man. I put these in my macros, man. All right? <laughs> What? This is my good protein muffin. These protein muffins. I put on the screen how many uh, protein grams it is, but this protein. Now it has a lot of carbs, obviously, guys. So if you are avoiding carbs, do not do this. Okay. But yeah, this is what we're doing. Thanks, Queen. You're welcome, bro. Oh, so I love it. <laughs>